Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to be decorating my hutch. I went to Dollar Tree and I also stopped at a yard sale and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up to kind of help me decorate this. So first thing I got were these plates. They are super pretty. Those are from Dollar Tree. I got eight of those and four of the bowls. I also got a bunch of just random dishes I picked up from a yard sale and some other stuff that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'll kind of explain as I'm decorating so you guys know where everything came from and how much I paid for it. So I did just want to mention that all the dishes going into this hutch are for decoration only. That's another reason why I wanted to keep it very cheap and affordable um, because I knew I would not touch these again. Um, once they were in here, that's how it was going to stay decorated for a very long time. So just keep that in mind. I don't want anyone to think that we use this hutch on a daily basis for daily items. Um, all my dishes that I actually use are inside of my cabinets. And yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there just for anyone who is wondering. Um, it is nice to have things that are actually functional, but sometimes it's nice to just have a space that is strictly for decoration only. Alright, so moving on to this tray I picked up from Dollar Tree. I originally decided to paint it this green color. It was called Celery in the Waverly Chalk Paint at Walmart. Um, they sell these little containers for like $3.50. And I wanted to have some pops of green. So I ended up painting this tray and those two plates that you see sitting right there the same green color. Um, at the very end, you'll notice I did end up going back and painting this green tray white because I just felt like the green was a little too much in the hutch but before I get any comments on the plates I painted I did look them up to make sure they weren't antique or worth anything they were just really cheap imitation plates so don't worry I promise I would never paint over something like that um, but anyway I did end up painting those two little plates green as well So at this point, it has been a couple days, and I wanted to um, just rearrange this a little bit. I've had it set up for a couple days now how I wanted it, um, but I did just have a couple things that I wanted to touch on and change up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now.
this is the part where I step back to just see how I like everything so far. And at this point, I realized that the this tray was just really too green. It just did not look good. So I laid down some bags and I decided to go in with some chalk paint I had on hand and paint it white. And while I was painting that white, I realized that I had another little vase that I wanted to paint as well. It was another one of those imitation of the blue onion dishes. And I chose to just paint it white just to make it more my style since I only paid a couple cents for it at a yard sale. Okay, so I'm going to go through and point out where I got everything. And I'm sorry for the glare, but without the light, it's really hard to see the true color of everything. So I'm going to try to get through it with the glare. So I apologize for that. But this little easel came from Dollar General during the um, Thanksgiving like decor time. And then what I did was just turned it to the corkboard side and I taped... Um, a piece of the like a page out of the Bible to it. It was just a scripture that spoke to me that day So I just taped it on there. I also Got um, all of my plates in the bowls from Dollar Tree the ones with the little um, beading on them And then the plates that are right here. I think they're like salad bowls I got those at a yard sale the other day. I got a whole box of dishes for five bucks so I just used those to have them like as a stacked look um, right here, this little box came from my mother-in-law. She gave it to Amaya a while back, and I'm just using it as decor right now because she's still too little to really take care of stuff like that. So I have it in here, and then I just stuck some greenery I got from Walmart. The Bless Our Nest is from Dollar General. This plate back here that I just painted white, that is from Dollar Tree. It's one of those big silver like platters. I just painted it white. And then this little, you can't really tell, but it's like a little basket back there. That came off of a like Christmas gift set like years and years ago, and I've just had it for a while. So I just like the look of it. Once again, there's some more plates right there. I just have stacked with the bowl on top. Um, this You and Me Always and Forever sign, it came from Target Dollar Spot, as well as this little tray. I got that for five bucks, and that was three. This little vase, I did paint it white. Um, I didn't show you, I don't think I showed you that. I don't think I showed you painted it, but it was one of those, um, it's a, one of those vases that have like all the blue designs on it. I did look this one up and it is just a cheap like version of that. So it wasn't the real one and I did decide to paint it because the blue just wasn't for me. Um, these lamb's ears are from Walmart. Same thing from those, or from... <laughs> Same thing with these down here. And I just stuck them in a coffee mug because I don't have another vase right now. I could have used this, but I really like the way it looked just empty. It just really shows the detail. So I left it empty. More bowls stacked right here. And then I put this wooden tray to add more wooden elements to it. And this little box my mom gave me, it's like an old antique. I think it's like a ammo box from like back in the day, but I have it in here. I just love the way that looks. Um, and then inside here, I did paint these little tiny plates green and then just leaned them against the white plates from Dollar Tree. And then I had those wine glasses for a while. I got those at Dollar Tree as well. So that is everything that's in the hutch. Nothing fancy, nothing too expensive or anything like that. I just kept it very simple and used what I had. Um, eventually, like as the years go on, I will start collecting things that mean you know, a lot to me and then I'll replace them with items that are in there. But um, I just wanted to decorate it for now because it just looks so plain being empty. And I do love the pops of the wood and the green tones. So anyway, that is it for the hutch. Up top, I did show this in a vlog, but I'll go ahead and show you guys. Up top is just a tray I got from Dollar General. The Home Sweet Home sign was part of this sign. It came in like a four pack. So I got that sign. And then that vase at the very top, I picked up at Goodwill. I painted it with chalk paint as well, and then I just stuck some lamb's ears and a cotton stem in there. This window I got, oh my gosh, it's been like three years, two or three years now. I got it from Facebook Marketplace, and then I just made this wreath. So that will, I'll have that video linked down below if you want to see um, how I made the wreath and everything. But And this sign over here is from Burlington Coat Factory. So that is it. I need to wipe down the mirrors or the windows of the hutch. There's a little bit of smearing of paint on them, but I'll do that. And then I will get a complete 
after shot for you guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I really love decorating this. It was actually a little bit more difficult than I thought because I thought I was going to like the blue dishes that I bought from a yard sale, but they just were not my style after all. After all this time hunting for them, I finally found some that were cheap and I just did not like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell those in a yard sale myself. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the after shot. So whenever I was filming these after clips, I wanted to turn on different lighting to give you guys a actual visual of how it looks inside of my house. Um, in my dining room, I do have soft yellow light because that's just personally what I like. So you'll see how the colors completely change with those tones as well. Um, but I just thought I would show you guys a couple different clips with different lighting. And keep in mind that there are a little bit of paint splatters on the glass. I need to get a razor knife so I can scrape it off, but don't mind that. Just look past it. <laughs> um, it's super cute. It looks really good, and I'm, I just love the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribed for more videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.